Hi, this is Gail from Life and Splatters, and I'm going to show you the second painting on a mirror. Now, I did this one the other day. It's really quite pretty, uh, very soft tones, and uh, it was an experiment. I don't know how it's going to work out long term. My plan is to use some archival UV uh, spray varnish by Krylon. Uh, to seal it so that the paint won't dry. But basically, I think it would end up being like a skin if you wanted to peel it off. But I don't want to peel it off. I really like this mirror. It's quite pretty. So I decided I'd try another one. And this is how it goes. These are my colors. I started out with two Rust-Oleum metallic decor colors, Oyster and Deep Garnet. I added my favorite copper by Sargent. I added Chocolate Brown Pearl by Arteza and PBO Gold. Now I added a little bit of black to the Arteza Brown to deepen it up a little bit. And I've mixed my paints with Floetrol, equal parts paint to Floetrol, and then I add about a teaspoon and a half of GAC 800 to each of the colors. I have then added two drops of silicone to two of the colors, because I do want cells again. I think they really look good. The mistake I made, I think I should have used a black instead of that dark brown. It, it didn't give me enough contrast, in my opinion, but it's still a really pretty piece. And I sort of have to uh, work more on directing where I want the paint to go. And I think what you can do is, the first one I took a marker and I sort of drew where I was going to put the paint. And I think that's not a bad idea to take uh, an acrylic marker and mark on the glass so that you have a guide uh, to the design. Now this one, I, I attempted to do a tree um, I have a thing about trees, and so I thought, well, this is only the second go-round. Um, the mirror is 18 by 24 inches, and it's in a lovely, uh, very plain, unfinished frame. Now, these were very uh, inexpensive mirrors from Michaels. You cannot take the mirror out of the frame. So you have to be very, very careful. And you'll see I had a few little boo-boos, but I was able to fix them. just layering uh, three little flip cups. I'm going to use two of them as flip cups and one I'm going to use as a traveling straight pour and it added some really interesting texture to the bark of the wood of my tree. So let's get started. Um, I cleaned the mirror really well with Windex to make sure that my paint is going to adhere. Again this is experimental I did do a little bit of research about paint on mirrors, and acrylic paint is fine to use on mirrors. Uh, you know, it might be an idea to uh, use a gesso of sorts to give it a little bit of a tooth to hold the paint. We're going to see. We're going to see how these hold up. I just think they're a really interesting concept.
So I've done a little flip cup, did a little bit of a lip to it, and now I'm tilting and stretching the paint, torching it uh, for bubbles, and watching the cells develop. It's actually kind of pretty, but yeah, it's tilting at this point. Uh, you need to be careful in this case where the mirror cannot come out of the frame to make sure you don't push the paint too far over the edge of the frame. And I did at one point, but I was able to just clean it up with a paper towel. It's a very strange sensation when you try to do a schmear. Uh, of course, you're, you're moving the paint with a palette knife on glass, so it doesn't grab at all. And you're sort of trying to move the paint along. It isn't really all that successful. Um, so I did find that I had more luck when I drizzled paint from a cup, and uh, as opposed to being able to move the paint with this palette knife in the fine lines that I wanted. The traveling straight pour uh, gave the tree bark some texture and I did run a palette knife through parts of it to break it up a little bit. But uh, all in all, it's not bad. Actually, this painting could use some embellishing once it's dry. Either that or you could probably peel the paint right off. I don't know. We're going to find these things out. Thank you. 
So it's got some really pretty little bits. Uh, I think what I wanted to do originally was perhaps a little bit more abstract. I didn't start out wanting to do a tree, but ended up moving in that direction. So I think the idea of drawing it out on the mirror the next time makes a lot of sense, coming up with more of a design. So the next one will be a bit more abstract. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. It's, it's a fun thing to do. I know that there are paints for glass, but you need to be able to bake the glass in the oven at a certain temperature for a period of time. Uh, that's impossible with these mirrors because they are set in, glued in to the frames. So I'm going to just have to do it with the acrylic paint and hope for the best. But I'll keep you posted on how, how they dry. And uh, let's keep playing with pigments and making beautiful things. Experiment, have some fun. You never know what's gonna work and you never know what isn't gonna work. Again, thanks for coming along. Take care, bye.